eight people shot overnight in what police believe is a murder-suicide. Five people are dead, including a child and the suspect. Three others are hurt. It started on West 2nd Avenue. That's on the southwest side of Corsican. It's near the hospital, and it's one of three scenes police responded to early this morning. Alex Rosier joins us live in Corsican tonight. Alex, good evening. What do we know right now? Yeah, Morgan, you can still see the police tape up at this home right at this property in Corsicana. Two people were shot and killed. Two others were injured. It's really a complex story with several scenes, but here is how it all played out. It was just after midnight when Corsicana police received a phone call that a known suspect killed his family. They showed up to this house and found an adult man and an adult woman dead. Two others also shot. They were transported by helicopter to a Dallas area hospital. We still don't know the names of any of the people involved. Earlier today, I spoke with a neighbor who saw the police lights as he came home last night. I've been living here for like 16 years and it's just, it's, I mean, it's scary. Like nothing like that ever has happened like by our house ever. It's traumatizing to hear, especially in a little town like Corsicana. Now this wasn't the only scene. 20 minutes away in the small town of Frost, Texas, police believe that same suspect shot and killed a child and an adult male. An adult woman was shot too and rushed to a Dallas area hospital. Eventually the police, they caught up with the suspect and as they approached him, he shot and killed himself in the car he was driving. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. As we bring you back out live here and all five people are dead, including the suspect and the child. We have not been provided an update on the condition of the people who were injured in these shootings. So really tonight in Navarro County, many questions remain after this shooting spree overnight. We're live in Corsicana. I'm Alex Rosier.